Okay, so this is taking a little bit too long, so let's well first make sure it's straight up and down and turn the RGB all the way up and paint on it. Oh, uh, Shift F. Okay, that doesn't look pretty enough, so I'm going to Control D, Control D, and one more time. 726,000. Quite a big jump from my other models, but this will be a great way to illustrate um, just what you can do with the applying textures to things in ZBrush. Okay, now let's uh, paint on the same texture. Nice and crisp. Totally awesome. Okay, now it's painted all over the place. Now this should have applied basically to the other side. Right on. And there shouldn't be... I'm not going to worry about the seams. It's okay. Whatever. Now, I need some type of twig thing. So, what I was going to do is uh, Shift Z to turn spotlight, spotlight all the way off. Go to Texture, Import, and let's select uh, probably this one. Bark. Okay, and then select it, add the spotlight. Okay, hide this, and turn the opacity all the way up. That is perfect. I just, uh, let's see. Oh, actually, I want to turn the opacity all the way up. Now, I'm going to look for an area on here that I want to be the base of this leaf. So, probably right, um, right, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to paint on it and see what happens. Shift-C to turn that off. Um, rotate, and let's rotate this model back so it's basically vertical, then select move brush and move it basically in the middle. Okay, good. Now Z, then turn the opacity down, Z, then select draw, make sure uh, BCB is, or clay buildup brush is selected, and then let's just see what this looks like. Okay, that's looking good. Control Z. Let's just paint it. Mm, too big. Okay, right about there. Now I'm going to zoom up on it. Okay. Ooh, that's even even nicer. What I'm trying to do right here is make it. Um, look crazy. Whoop. Okay. Okay, right there. Right there. Good. up a little bit good okay and I don't know the craziness starts about right here okay Nice. Okay, now I can make it a little bigger and just fill in the areas that are still green. Okay. Good. Perfect. Shift Z. Now our leaf is done texture wise. Now, how do I get this on a small object? 
Okay, let's see. I've been, I've got UVs on a really small model. I've divided it up a whole bunch. So I think I can come over to texture map. Oh wait, no, I don't have UVs. <laughs> okay, let's see. To do that, you need to create UVs on a really low res model. So let's go up to geometry and uh, get that down to the lowest subdivision level, which gets rid of our really high definition, or really nice details, which sucks. But now go up to Z plugin and UV master. Go to unwrap. So it is going to uh, figure out the UVs on this model. Okay, thinking, thinking, 11,000, not too hard, done. Now, the UVs have been created for a low-res model. Now we can bump this up to the high definition, 726,000 polygons. And then go down to Texture Map, and then go to New from Polypaint. Now that high-resolution stuff is baked on our object, so now we can go back to, uh, not subtools, well, where'd that come from? Uh, <laughs> they, uh, go back to the lowest subdivision level, and the texture information should stay on our object because we baked the texture RGB information on it with our high definition or high resolution uh, image. So now we're down back down to 11,000. Shift F. So now we have a really nice texture on a low-res model. So, now, let's see, now we've got UVs, and we've got a texture map, so now we've got our third object that we can use in our scene. So, let's go up to Subtools, and take a look at everything. Turn off Solo. And now we've got a rock, a leaf, and a stick. Totally awesome. <clears throat> now I have UV each one of these uh, objects that we want. Oh, and then eventually we'll have grass. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so I've UV'd each one of these objects. Now I just need to make um, an insert mesh brush with each of those. So. Um, B, wait, no, let's go to brush and create insert multi mesh. Hmm, let's see. If I do that, is it going to. Mm, I'm going to delete the grass. I can always come back to it, I can always do it later. I'll delete this grass too. I just don't want that. I don't want to have any issues when I try and create an insert mesh brush and it's like what are all these crazy polygons, you know, the the uh, grass and stuff, it it could, uh, ZBrush could break. So, okay, now we don't have any grass, now we just have our polygroups and um, let's see, let's unhide the ground and make visible the objects we want to create uh, an insert mesh brush with, then brush, create insert multi mesh brush. Okay. Now, if we press M, oh, it got that thing too. That's horrible. That's because I didn't. It's okay. It, it's no big deal. But um, now, B, M, So B, M, now we can select the rock, the stick, hmm, what, or the, something's going on, um, rock, okay, the rock works, rock, um, okay. Now, B, uh, we just created an insert mesh brush with these objects. Then, B, create a nano mesh brush. Then, M, 
we retain the texture information in the um, nano mesh brush that we've just created. So if we select the leaf, shift F, and we draw that out, we've got our texture on the object. So we can apply this to any um, UVs or any surface we want to. Okay, we've got some twigs right here, so let's select the um, uh, stick and zoom in, okay, and draw that leaf out, okay, or right click and do we want to apply it to a single poly or all polygons? I like all polygons. Okay, and then drag that out. And now it will try and place that on all the polygons. Pretty cool. And we can do that with all of the different uh, sub-tools or nano mesh items that we have now. So B, it created a Z model or brush that we can select. Press M to use any of these because we have UV'd them and now everything works. So let's go back to our uh, flat surface, F to frame, and to hide everything else. Okay, now, now we can have some fun. So Shift F. So this is the ground that I want to create. Let's start with the rock. Shift F, let's see how crazy it is. Now M. Let's select the rock. Okay, now it's being applied to all the polygons. Okay, and now let's let's press M and let's apply the stick. And now hold down, wait, drag it out, and then hold down Shift, which will apply this and the rock at the same time. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Now press M and now the leaf. Now let's hover over this. Now right click. Now single poly. Let's just apply it to one. Now click and drag. Okay. Awesome. And now hold down shift. And it will apply it to the other um, <clears throat> areas of our ground. Now we've got something that we can work with. So let's go to Nano Mesh. Okay, now we've got one index and two index. Let's select the first index. I think it was uh, leaves. I think the rocks got uh, eaten up somehow. We can apply them later. So let's uh, adjust the size. Okay. Ooh, that bigger. That looked kind of nice. Okay, let's see. H tile. Let's try that. Okay, length. Variations. Okay, I'm going to decrease the size. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm going to decrease the size of uh, my leaves real quick just so we can mess with the uh, twigs. So, okay, height. Ooh, that's kind of nice. And then let's vary the uh, intensity of that. Oh, so awesome. Ooh, especially underneath. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> so, let's see. It needs to rotate more. So, okay. And then the other directions. And that needs to be totally crazy as well. 
and then Z rotation and then let's vary that pretty cool and then increase the H tile by 5 to 6 nice and let's just slowly increase that and then increase the size oh that is so cool and 5 to 8 okay now we've got big sticks all over the place pretty cool um, I'm gonna lower the H tile just three ooh that's intense and four yikes and then let's just cut back the size a whole bunch okay that's good I like that now let's move on to our leaves and increase their size and H tile three and two two for vertical okay that looks good now let's adjust the width okay I'm going to copy that width so select copy wait okay copy and then paste or just eyeball it okay and then adjust the variation on length and height cool now ooh no it's not offset that's kinda scary go back to zero okay rotation nice all over the place Y rotation let's make that go all over the place and then Z rotation and let's modify its variation pretty cool now shift F just so we can see everything else and I'm going to tile this change it from 2 to 3 on vertical now I want to play with the size of each leaf oh that's cool I like that pretty intense um, okay now I want the rocks to be showing they have been deleted because we only have two indexes but we can add them uh, we've got the Z modeler brush selected so M oh just press M don't, don't hold it down if you hold it down this is what happens and that could possibly break, break people's computers okay then select rock and now click and drag okay ooh and it created a new index for me now I want to uh, let's see. I'm first going to adjust the H tile oh control Z control Z when I did that I didn't press H so it didn't apply that rock to all the different um, tiles all these guys so I need to click make sure my rock is selected click inside the red box and drag and then hold down shift okay and that will create rock on all the different tiles pretty cool so now we have our own index for rocks leaves and sticks let's go back to rocks and adjust the size okay and then H tile 2 4 okay increase the size um, random distribution ooh that's kinda nice increase its size and now let's adjust the width and length variation okay height ooh that's nice different sizes okay that's even better no offset um, X rotation looking good even better okay Y rotation sweet now 
Z rotation. Wait. No, I've got Z rotation. I just need to have some variation of that. Now let's adjust the size. Okay. Uh, let's see. Distribution. Okay. It's auto saving. That's nice. Let's go back to 2. See what that looks like. Or 8. Okay, that's interesting. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Look what we've made here. This, ooh, that's kind of nice. I don't even need the floor surface. Um, let's go to our grass. Wait, no. Oh, wait. Um, nano mesh. Okay, nano mesh. And then hide others. Wait, hold on. I'm sure you can hide the uh, <coughs> the flat surface somewhere. Uh, fit, fill. Oh man, I'm not sure at the moment. But that's okay. Oh, show placement. That's what. Okay, now we can just see what that stuff looks like by itself. Plus, the best thing about this whole thing is we can select brushes uh, B I N for the inflate brush and we can deform our flat surface to any shape we want to to make everything underneath um, it will be easier to see if it's not 1% okay yes just like that Okay, let's make it bigger and make a little hill. Isn't that so awesome? Plus, you don't even have to show it. It will just deform for you. Isn't that awesome? Best thing about ZBrush. And each of those leaves that I created had like 700,000 polygons on them originally. And I baked the texture information down to a lower model and then um, created an insert mesh brush and then later nano mesh brush from the uh, low res objects. Pretty sweet. If anybody liked this video, wants to see more, um, please subscribe and stay tuned for more. Oh, let's see. Frame. This might actually be a, a great. Um, uh, picture for ZBrush. Let's see. Okay, right about there. Okay, now document and let's see. Save as startup doc. So now every time I open up ZBrush, I will see this wonderful picture uh, that we made together. And yeah. So thanks for watching and stay, uh, stay tuned for more. And I'll try and make these as fast as possible. Thanks, everybody. Okay, and uh, one more thing, if anybody else would like to have a copy of uh, this nano mesh brush that I've created, let's see, B, right here, Z modeler, let's select it and rename it, brush, okay, Z modeler, uh, save, <gasps> ooh, select icon, right there, uh, okay. Let's do this. That will be its picture and save as, let's see, mm, where should I save this? Okay, pictures, new folder, no, 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 hold on, ZBrush. Uh, fun. ZBrush fun. Okay, then put that up the top. Nope, not there. Cancel. Right there. ZBrush fun. Now let's give this a name. Um, probably... 
um, ground. No, let's see. Dirt, rock, uh, what's a good name? Um, let's see, uh, forest, fun, okay, that's a good one, forest fun, and save that, and then let's also save as, um, let's see, program C, let's put this, okay, search for pixel logic, nope, okay, fix, nope, pixel logic, okay, then brushes, 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 ooh, um, okay, I can probably, Let's make a new folder. ZBrush Fun. No, no, capital. Okay. ZBrush Fun. Now, yeah, Forest Fun. Save that. So now I've got this. <laughs> I've got this as a brush that I can select. Wait, what are we? Okay, a B. I can select Forest Fun, and I can import it. Wait. Brush. Yeah, Load Brush. And it will be in ZBrush, Brushes ZBrush Fun, and Forest Fun. Or I could go to Lightbox, and go to Brush, and find ZBrush Fun, and open up forest fun and then when you press M you have nano mesh brushes that you can use to make your own textures if anybody would like this I can probably see about giving it to you so please subscribe and stay tuned for more thanks everybody